I don't remember the last time I slept. The Red Legion has everyone on guard. We don't... Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. The light of hope will leave you in shadow. I'm not accustomed to all of this excitement. It was difficult enough to adjust life during wartime. Now we have to be on our guard for Tuatha right here in our own home. What is this world coming to? Goodbye. Welcome to St. Odwig's Perpetual Mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Odorath is a savage land. Every day we must face both the beasts of the wood and the evil of wicked hearts. I fear for Brother Egan's soul. He knows nothing of the world of Fay and Alpha. Trust and temptation. He is like a baby, eyes wide at the world around him. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here just off the road near the Fey Ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. Goodbye.
Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. Some may try to colour it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. You could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. Osgar hides somewhere in the woods north of here. Medgar was last seen east of his brother's camp. Bring me their legion daggers and I'll pay with coin and a commendation to join the order. <laughs> What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So? Are you foolish or just stupid? Oh, I see. The Twisted Gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? I'm sorry. I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs>
Sometimes this is too hard to believe. But you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The Ancient Ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home, for anyone.
These walls are grown, are built of stone. Lovingly this place was crafted. You see the lights, the mystic halls of ordered reality? They are the faces of the missing, the embodied truth of the lost souls. There are so many of them. Still, you can see them. They are like pathetic charades. Some with good intentions, and you can't fault them that. But the majority of them are just a hoax. Needless to say, I don't like it here. You could have stayed free and lived a comfortable life, but you couldn't settle a disquiet that haunts people like you. I have a secret to tell you. I am not sad. When I was a girl, my father used to tell me that when you grow old with someone, you tie your fates together and create a pattern that is part yours and part theirs. My father said that this is why when an old person dies, their partner is never far behind. But I do not feel that way. I feel free. Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's fa- Either in this ridiculous war, I'll be here. Welcome. Care to part with some gold?
Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazma and the Eternal, messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait, Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> They are Fey Twins, and they are beautiful, magical creatures. They promised to teach me magic, to help me see the world as it really is. All they require of me is to fetch for them this relic. It's quite a bargain, believe me. Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. It is in the caves of Waterhall Down, a refuge for the wild fae. See you later.
If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest. Ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selky Vale. Bye then. Casmaran knows the way. Kazmaran fears nothing! My sword.
Arbos and Finna will be waiting. Come, their camp is not far. Finna and Arbos made their camp in the old Fey ruins north of the village, near my camp. Goodbye now. What now? What is this? A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. Obviously. Anyone who has ever glimpsed a Fey would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The Feylands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. Cursed, is it? Huh. It does look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Make certain our paths do not cross again, or my brother will add his mark to your scars. I... I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorhart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so... magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell... Come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. See you later. To the mission. Let's get out of the forest. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. Bye then. Great Mithardu, Egan has returned. As for you, you have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> 